Hi, y welcome to another episode of Enterate con Verizon. Los saluda su amiga Diana Alvear, and I'm so excited to bring you another roundup de todo lo que está pasando in and for the Latinx community at Verizon. What are we talking about today? Dinero, dinero, dinero. Who doesn't worry about money? Well, today we have a very special guest. You might know him for his role as host of popular gaming shows like Cien Latinos Dijeron, the Hispanic version of Family Feud, The Wall, or from Telemundo's morning show, Un Nuevo Día. His true passion today, however, is financial literacy, and he is here to tell us all about it. My name is Marco Antonio Regil. I'm a television host and public speaker, and one of my passions is learning and teaching about financial literacy, emotional health, and basically learning how to be happier. My mom was really hardworking. She divorced and raised uh, three children by herself in the Mexico of the 1970s, which was really hard for a single woman. It's hard now, imagine back in the day. So obviously I learned the same that she was doing. So I wanted more money, I had to work harder. I wanted more money, I, worked to, I have to work even harder. But the problem was that it didn't matter how much money I was making, I was spending all the money. So it wasn't until later when I understood that being financially healthy is not about having luxury things, but about being able to live a longer amount of time without the uh, obligation of making money. Most people, especially in the Latino community, can't even make it to the end of the month. I love the focus that you have on the Latino community, but why? What is it about the community that lends itself to needing more financial literacy? Because we don't get financial literacy. Tell me some of the changes that you made in your life. Like when you started to become more financially literate, I'm sure that you had a million light bulbs going on and you're like, oh my gosh, I'm gonna change this, this, and this. What were some of the first things that you changed? Yeah, well, a, a book that changed my, my, my paradigm uh, dramatically was a book that I always recommend, Robert Kiyosaki's Rich Dad Poor Dad, that is a very popular book. And I became friends of Robert Kiyosaki and Kim Kiyosaki, and I started teaching those workshops in Mexico and the Latino community here in the US. So these are the four places where you can make money, right? Empleado, employee, autoempleado, in English would be an S, self-employed. D is for dueño de negocio, in English would be a B, business owner. And the I of inversionista or investor. Right? So those are four places where you can make money. So before having financial literacy, the only place I was making money was there. <laughs> the E, the employee, which means work hard for the money. So I created my own business and then I started investing my money. So invest of, instead of making money here and spending all the money, I started giving my money a profession. I started making my money to work for me. So I, 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 don't, I don't mind being an employee or self-employed because I love what I do uh, as a TV host, as a podcaster, as a public speaker. I do TV campaigns. I do, I, I like, I don't, I don't mind it. I love it. But when I make the money, I don't spend all the money. Money gives you the opportunity of choosing what to do and not to do. So yeah, money is not happiness, but it creates this space, takes away the burden of having to do something that you don't love. We want to do what we love. And when we do what we love, then it doesn't feel like work. Learn the skills that you need to become financially free. Which are those skills? Sales. If you know how to sell, you'll never be struggling for money. If you think sales are not for you, it's just because you're not selling something you love. Because I'm selling you right now an education. So whatever you want to do, start seeding the idea of, okay, do what you love, but find, find a way to leverage and create something that is gonna make money for you, even if you're not physically working for it. Mi gracias, Marco Antonio, fue un placer. Now, one of the ways Verizon is helping you teach your kids good financial health is with Verizon Family Money. So we caught up with one working mama to see how it went when she used it with her daughter. Hi, my name is Lily and I am currently a account manager with Verizon Wireless supporting indirect location. And I am using family money with my eight year old daughter. Every time she would do chores, I never had cash to pay her. So it demotivated her from doing chores. And she would say, hey, like 
you never have cash to pay me. So with family money, it allows me to send her money right after the chore is done. A lot of the times she's saving for an expensive toy or an Apple pencil. So the motivational piece of being able to look in there and see how much money she has and how much money she needs definitely keeps her motivated every day and trying to get that goal. So it's allowing her to really budget herself, um, knowing that, hey, if I go to the store and I have money, I don't have to spend it. I can save up my money. And when I'm ready to make that big purchase, I have money. Not only that, but she likes to have money in her bank account, so she never depletes it. I like the security piece of it. So when she carries cash with her, I always worry that she may lose the money. But with family money, it allows me to turn it off or pause it temporarily. I definitely recommend all parents to get family money for your kids. Gracias, Lily. Good to hear that your little girl's allowance is being spent so wisely. So while we're talking about money, it is a good time to tell you about how your Verizon Visa card rewards are getting better. It's the only card that lets cardholders earn Verizon dollars, and you know that those can be redeemed for Verizon's best phones, your 5G tech, you can even put that money toward your monthly wireless bill like I do. Well now, cardholders can spend their rewards on even more of what they love. We're talking gift cards from favorite brands, hotels, flights, car rentals. If you're planning to travel, this is a good time to get that Verizon Visa card. All right, let's turn to our man Chris with more tips from La Tienda. Yo pues, parceros y parceras, y bienvenidos al tercer capítulo of Tips from La Tienda. I'm your host, Chris Estrada Ballesteros, y para los que no sepan, yo soy colombiano americano y me encanta trabajar aquí en Verizon. Today's topic, gaming. Bueno, empecemos con lo primero, and that's the gaming headset. This is the JBL Quantum 400. Not only does it have a braided cable to avoid any sort of annoying tanglings, but it's got a mic that mutes itself when you pull it up and down and is super lightweight and has memory foam cushions for the longer gaming sessions. Entonces, no importa si estás goleando a la gente en FIFA 21 or saving Azeroth in World of Warcraft, this headset will change your game. Next up is the Kishi Gamepad by Razer in both Android and iOS. Esta vaina es super chévere y venga le comento por qué. It turns your phone into a gaming console. Not only that, but the design is super ergonomic and the buttons are both familiar and very comfortable. And on top of all of that, it works with all cloud-based services. So if you have the Xbox Gaming Pass, Apple Arcade, or the Google Play Pass, you'll be able to elevate your gaming from your phone anywhere you want. Let's take a quick step back because I know what some of you guys are thinking. What if my phone dies? What about my KDR? I've got your answer and it's battery packs. We have so many of these in the store, I don't even know which ones to recommend at this point. But what I can tell you is that they're all very important for many reasons. Most importantly, right now, we have hurricane season coming up here in Florida. So for the homies, por si las moscas, I recommend these at all times. Bueno pues mi gente, aquí se acaba la cosa. But first, I'd like to wish every country out there that celebrated their independence day this month a happy independence day porque es que se cae varios. As always, you can find me on Twitter, Instagram, and LinkedIn. I would love to connect with you guys, so please reach out. Back to you, parcerita. Gracias, Chris. I love his tips, and I love his passion for being a V-teamer. Bueno, we all know the power of being bilingual. It really does feel like a superpower. And when you put that gift to work at Verizon, you are gonna supercharge your results. Y eso resulta en clientes contentos. I want you to meet four teammates at Verizon Business Group who handle small business customers with Fios Wireline, and they are making a huge impact through Spanish and culture. Hi, my name is Omar Galarza. Hi, my name is Julian Abramson. Hi, my name is Myra Rosario, and I am from the Brooklyn Business Office. The reason why I became a part of this team was that I wanted to help the Spanish business community have some sort of voice at Verizon. And also, I wanted it to be easy for the customers to do business with us. I mean, what better than calling somewhere and having the language of your preference? I actually had a customer. They had purchased BDV from a door-to-door -door salesperson. It was a bit of a, a, a huge language barrier because they were happy with the product, but they did not understand what they had purchased. So when the call came in, obviously they got my recording and they was like, oh my God, you speak Spanish. And it was like, thank you so much. I was able to give every detail of all the functions that the BDV will do for them. And they were beyond grateful. Our revenue is growing, our close rates are growing. So the opportunities are, are endless. 
We had people jump in to get on the team. We actually built the team based on volunteers. So we had nine people volunteer to stand up the team. And as you'll hear today, they're excited. Like our employees are excited to answer the phone, you know, and that's a lot coming from a call center. When I'm speaking to these customers, they make me feel fantastic, especially when I'm able to resolve their problem. They, they thank me. They, they, they God bless me. <laughs> they, they, they've even asked to send me things. Es un orgullo. Es un privilegio estar um, y ser parte de, de este equipo. Nosotros tenemos un maro que se dice no son negocios como siempre. This is what Verizon is all about, being able to provide my customers the best experience that they could possibly have. Gracias a Julian, Omar, Mayra y Karen. It's so great to see happy V-teamers who love doing their jobs. Now we're going to meet a V-teamer whose creative vision is helping us have pride in our community and in our work. I am so excited to introduce you to this Ecuatoriano living in Nueva York. Hola, eh, me llamo Ricardo Aspiazu. I am the eh, Executive Director for Creative Marketing here at Verizon. I was actually born and raised in Ecuador and I actually came to the States for college when I was 18, a few, a few moons ago. I went to Spain to do a master's and then I was craving to work in New York. They always say you have to live in New York at least once. So that's what I did. It was tough. And I will tell you why it was tough. It's because I moved to New York in the summer of 2008. And that was just a few weeks shy from the explosion of the financial crisis. So I found a, a way to kind of like get myself into a program for corporate communications at Baruch College at the admissions office at the school. My job was basically to make sure that people weren't faking their transcripts. So I, I became like this little like detective. I was working for an agency that was doing Hispanic marketing. And then suddenly this agency started to gain Verizon as a client. And that's how I met the Verizon world. One of my clients back then, who became then my boss's Verizon, gave me a call and he was like, hey, enjoy working with you. And I think, you know, I can offer you a, a position that I want you to explore here at Verizon. So when the Verizon opportunity came in, I said, let's, let's give it a go. When I do campaigns like Pride, for example, Love Calls Back, those things mean a lot because they have such an impact in people's hearts and um, it actually elevates and helps the agenda of a, of a minority, of a community that needs the visibility. But we were looking at stories that even within the community are not told. So when you think about the diversity within and the representation that falls within the LGBT groups, it tend to be very focused on white males. And we were like, we want to tell stories of other members of the group. There's a huge neglected African-American LGBT youth as well, Hispanic, and not even to mention the transgender as well, right? So we sort of like, we're like, okay, we need to find stories about these people so that we can bring them to the forefront. My partner means the world to me right now. Um, we've been together for almost 13 years. It's funny, we met here in New York on my birthday, on my 29th birthday. He obviously did not only like, you know, gave me the love and, 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 the, and the care that, you know, couples will have and, and give to each other. He gave me uh, a family here. He's definitely my, my rock. I wouldn't, I wouldn't be able to be where I am today if it wasn't, if it wasn't for him, for sure. Yo te diría que lo más importante para mí es, es to follow your gut and follow your heart. The last thing you want to be is a professional in your 40s that doesn't really know who, what you want. It's okay to be that person in your 20s and your 30s. You know, it's fine. But to me, it's like follow your gut and even if it makes you uncomfortable, take the leap and do it. Thank you, Ricardo. Bueno, that does it for us today. But get excited because we're going to be back to kick off Hispanic Heritage Month and you're going to be seeing some very famous faces and be so inspired to celebrate nuestra cultura linda. Soy Diana Real. Thanks so much for watching Interata con Verizon. Y nos vemos pronto.